Welcome to the Redefinition Daily with Ozana, a daily inspiration for a better new life. Good morning. Welcome to your everyday tonic, the redefinition daily with Hosanna. We appreciate God for the gift of this new day. We are excited. We are happy. This is a day that the Lord has made and we will continue to rejoice and be glad in it. We thank God for his faithfulness unto us. We also believe that God is blessing you through this daily meditation. We would love to hear from you. Please feel free to drop your comments, your suggestions, or your testimonies. You can reach us on 0803-8803-842. Just text messages or WhatsApp messages only, and God will surely, will surely bless you. Let us pray this morning. Father, we worship you. We bless your name. We magnify you for whom you are. We lift your name above every other name. For you are the I am that I am, and you will never change. We return the glory to you. You have been the blessing, the process, and the business of blessing us. And again this morning, we are sure of your blessings. We pray. May your Holy Spirit minister to us. And may at the end, your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our text this morning is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verses 10 to 12. 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verses 10 to 12. And Proverbs chapter 29, verse 11. And in this I give advice. It is to your advantage not only to be doing what you began and were desiring to do a year ago, but now you almost must complete the doing of it. That as there was a readiness to desire it, so there also may be a completion out of what you have. For if there is first a willing mind, it is accepted according to what one has and not according to what he does not have. If at first there is a willing mind, it is accepted according to what one has and not according to what he does not have. Proverbs 29 verse 11 A fool altereth all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it till afterwards. A fool altered all his mind, but a wise man kept it in till afterwards. Yesterday we looked at the law of difference. And we said if anyone wants to succeed in life, there are certain means and rules that must be obeyed religiously. We said difference is a variation that deviates from the norm or the standard. A world of similar actions will always create an avenue of comfort and satisfaction, but a difference in action will always create opportunity and reward. This morning we shall be looking at the law of the mind. The law of the mind. The mind is that part of human life that is responsible for our thoughts and feelings, our perceiving, our perception, our remembrance our consideration, evaluation, and decision-making. Mind is in some sense reflected in such occurrences as sensations, perceptions, emotions, memory, desires, various types of reasoning, motives, choices, traits of personality, and the unconscious. This is as defined by Wikipedia. Every battle is a battle of the mind. Every battle of life, every life battle is a mind battle. In Romans chapter 7, verse 23, St. Paul said, and I quote, But I see another law in my mind, but warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. 
Say, I see another law warring against the law of my mind. So, the battle of life is a battle of the mind. If you can succeed in your mind, you will succeed in life. If you lose in your mind, you will certainly lose in life. Your mind is more important to you than anything else in this world. The mind is important. We must understand that our mind is the center of our actions. The mind is the center of our thoughts. Proverbs 29 says, A fool will always say out all that is in his mind, but a wise man will always keep it until he has given a reasonable thought over it. And 2 Corinthians chapter 8, where we read says, If there is first a willing mind, if the mind is made up, then whatever we do will be accepted as according to what we have and not what we do not. So the mind is the center of our discussions. There are things that our mind needs. There are things that our mind needs. We shall be back after this announcement. Kingdom Crusaders, Kingdom Crusaders Global, Global Communications, Communications presents, presents Equipped Leadership, leadership, leadership Training, training. a two-day leadership, leadership training that focuses on enhancing business, business and Christian leadership, leadership in a rapidly changing world. world. It, promises it promises to be energetic, energetic impactful, impactful, and insightful. And insightful. Modules, Modules include, include leadership, leadership and mentoring, and mentoring teamwork, teamwork and conflict and management, 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 church growth, growth principles, principles, communications, communications and public and relations, relations, interactions, interactions etc. Et date, Friday, Friday 11th, 11th September, September, time 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. and Saturday, Saturday, 12th 12 12 September, September, time, time 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Venue, venue Holy, Holy Trinity Anglican Church, Church Multi Purpose Hall, 520, 520 Equira Road, Port Harcourt. Trading, Trading fee, 5,000 5, 5, 5, Naira per participant. participant. Payable, payable at, at Kingdom, Kingdom Crusaders, Crusaders Global Communications, Communications Nigeria Limited, Limited. Senate Bank, Bank, 101 725 3731. Payment reference, equip or at the training venue. For more inquiries, inquiries, call Oroma Oroma on on 0803-954-2280 or Chima Chima on 0705-728-6682. Welcome back. Before the break, we are saying that there are things that our mind needs. We've aligned four of them. Number one, our mind needs focus, and focus has two parts. We have to focus on our memory and also focus on our imagination. Our memory replays our past. Our imagination prepares our future. If we give our mind a picture of what we want to be, if we picture our tomorrow, we see a vision of ourselves in our mind. Isaiah chapter 65 verse 70 says, Forget the former things. Forget the former things. And Ephesians chapter 4 verses 22 to 24 says, We should renew our mind and focus in life. He said that you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful loss, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. So we need to focus our mind. Number two, our mind needs instruction. Our heart is to harness and search for information. And the mind is in the search of knowledge and instruction. If we instruct our mind today, our mind will act accordingly. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 16, he said, Who have known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him. We need to instruct our mind. Tell your mind what you think. Tell your mind what you should be thinking of. Tell your mind the actions that will, take, that will be going on in your mind. Speak, instruct your mind. Number three, our mind needs a hero. Our mind needs a champion that excites you. A self-portrait of your personality. 
when, when you portray yourself, it determines your conduct. Sometimes you need somebody to tell you that you are good, you are strong. Speak to your mind, instruct your mind. Your mind is a hero. He wants to hear something great about himself. In the first book, chapter 1, verse 7, the Bible says, God has not given us a spirit of timidity or fear, but a sound mind. Give your mind that self portrait of a hero, and your mind will be ready to take you to your destination. Number four, our mind needs self talk, or we call meditation. In Lamentations chapter 3, verse 21, the Bible says, This I recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. We need to self talk. Speak to yourself. What we call soliloquizing. Speak to yourself. Assure yourself. Meditate on the things of your mind. Assure your mind that things will be well. Everything will be perfect. You are a strong man. You are a winner in Lord. You are not failing. You are not conceding to defeat. You are not giving up. It's not over yet. Talk to yourself even this morning. If you want to succeed, you want to break forth in your life, there is the law of the mind. Speak to your mind. Assure yourself in your inner subconscious mind that all things will be well. You can speak to that pregnancy. There is no miscarriage. You can speak to that job this morning. I am not giving up on you. It's going to be well. And because the Holy Ghost is on you, is in you, is working with you, abiding in you, it will bring to pass the desires of the Lord. Talk to your mind this morning. Father, we bless you and then we worship you. We glorify you. We speak to our mind this morning. We meditate on the greatness of our Lord because he has not failed before. We are a hero. We instruct our mind this morning. We are focused on achieving the goodness, the greatness, and the manifestation of God. So we will not let go of his promises in our life. Father, we thank you. We bless you. We worship your majesty. We instruct our mind this morning. Don't give up. Don't listen to what anything is saying. We assure ourselves this morning the hand of the Lord is mighty upon us. And the goodness of the Lord shall be gracious. You will hide us in the hollows of your hands. And his name shall be glorified. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Be thou exalted. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening. We believe you are blessed by this broadcast. Join us every day for fresh episode. You can also get our broadcast on Google and Apple Podcasts. For further information, call 080-3880-3842. 
you can rediscover.